Welcome back guys to episode number 2 of Just Your Grace and welcome to my palace. We have a lot of petitioners for week 2 and uh, we're running low on gold. I mean not low but I don't have as much as I wanted. We uh, rebuild or we pay for the pantry to be fixed and uh, yeah that's that and uh the contentment is at 16 so we should be good for now it's a uh, one two bells it's a 2 p.m who knows okay uh let's start first let the general come here general your grace no signs of monster general oh yeah yeah i remember last episode we sent the general to investigate uh, some rumors of a beast or something that a peasant said that he saw. Uh, so no signs of monsters. We did stumble upon these bandits though. So they were bandits, not monsters. They were pillaging the village. Red heads, sharp teeth, a crest of Radobia. I thought you could only find them in books and old manuscripts. Well, seems like we have one right here too. Tell me, whose banner are you bearing? Is it, is it true that you are from Radovia? Oh, so this is the guy? Yes, man. Okay, your man is right. Radovia is my home. And soon yours too. Ha! Hmm. Why are you here? What were you and your men doing near the village? We are just making a living. One man might call it plunder. I would call it hard work. Uh, who is your leader? Do you have a king? Or you just a barbaric thief? We are free people. We don't bow to kings or lords. Bold words for someone trespassing in another country. Bold and stupid. I have heard enough. Your grace. Entry updated. Uh, your grace, we can't allow barbarians to stalk our lands. Plundering and killing innocent men. There is no question that justice needs to be dealt with this one. To this one. Ooh, you, 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 ooh, I love this game, man. What should we do with him? I mean, we're gonna be very strict. We're gonna protect our kingdom. So we wouldn't let people like roam on the street or bandits doing their stuff. You know what? Throw him into the dungeons, right? Maybe we can visit him and talk to him or execute him. Hmm. One of these two. Let's throw him into the dungeon. Maybe we can get more info from him. Uh, throw him into the dungeons. You will rot in a cell. No one. Don't want to let me go, but you don't have the guts to kill my friend will gladly hear about your cowardly decision mm, that's bad. i need to see aurelia about this Ooh, maybe we should have killed him oh. what do you want to what do you make of this audrey radovians here how could they get through through the mountains why could they threaten a war that's a lot of questions but i need answers audrey forgive me your grace i'm just puzzled he might be reasoning to start thinking about renewing some old treaties talk to old friends see who could give us a hand with our current resources a war could bring certain defeat I will make some preparations 
Hmm, so maybe this is the war at the beginning of the game? Where we gave a, like, a speech and everything? Maybe it's that one. Ah, uh, Lord Surya, this is one of our daughters, right? I bring news, father. Asalia sneaked out at night last week. I ran into her while she was going back to her chamber, all laughing and a little tipsy, I think. She wouldn't say where she she do been, but Sedani, as thick as she is, spilled everything to me in the morning. Those two shit chat all the time. They think I don't realize. Thick. Don't speak ill of your sister. What's got into you, Lord Sulia? Asalia sneaks out to some wedding. Gets all drunk. But I'm the bad one. All of the sudden. I do better talk to Asalia about this. You girls are going to drive me mad one day. There's a lot of family stuff going on with... Uh, what's the... Eric was the name of my character, right? There's a lot of stuff going on with his family, Let's so we can fix it. A peasant? Um. Your grace, my dear son is nowhere to be found. Slim. Yes, a really daft little boy, but still, he is my son. Papa. I ask you to help us find him. Your grace, is there a chance you could do so? Hmm. Two weeks. Oh no. Oh, generals will try to find him. We'll find your son in two weeks. Offer? No. I'm afraid I won't be able to help you. You have to deal with that yourself, man. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I should try to get the village to help you. Blah. You should try. Your grace, please. Cinnamon. I can pay you. I have scrapped together one piece of gold. Ugh. Keep your money. We will help you. Two weeks. <clears throat> For one piece of gold? Yeah, but we might need the, the general for other stuff. Now, try finding your... Try finding him yourself. I'm not willing to give the... Uh, the general for two weeks. They might be more important thing to to do in the kingdom, you know. Sorry, peasant. Ooh, I'm not sure my men or gold will make any difference. Your son could be anywhere. I was afraid you would say you would say that, but I will not give up on him. I will find him myself. Entry completed. Let me check. A father came asking for help to find his son. King Eric, that's my name, Eric. Dismiss the peasant. Of course, man. There's, there's a lot of... There's some more important stuff going on than finding your son, to be honest. I'm sorry, but that's that's ruling for you, man. Eric's middle daughter, Salia, is adventurous and playful. She doesn't care. She thinks about her. Hearing that Asalia was sneaking out of the castle worries the king. He decided to he decided it would be best to confront her about it to confirm Losulia's story. The monsters. Monsters attack the village. Uh, the monsters turn out to be bandits from Radobia. A place from which nothing good nothing good ever comes. Never come. Uh, the Radobia bandit was sent to the dungeon to await further interrogation yeah that's nice that's what i wanted so maybe we can talk to him later lord eaton hello my name is eaton i am the lord of branca your grace i will be straightforward as possible someone has kidnapped my daughter and they expect me to pay 12 of gold to get her back the thing is i track them down and i know where they are and I know way where they are keeping her I have planned 
everything out. I just need your general to help me take her back. Or I could just pay the ransom. Either way, I will need your help, your grace. Two weeks? Come on, man. Two weeks? That's a lot, man. And it's the same situation of the, as the peasant. Now, the only thing that... Maybe this guy could help us, right? But the general two weeks? That's a lot, man. I'm not giving him 12 of gold. I'm sorry I can't help. But maybe he's one of the... Uh, lords or something. I don't know, man. Wow, what should we do, man? Okay, I'm not giving him the 12 of gold. That's for sure. Should we send the general or not? You know what? I'm sorry, I can help. My general is occupied and my gold is running low. I wish you the best of luck getting your daughter back. And I wish you never find yourself in a similar situation. Keep your daughter, keep your daughter safe, your grace. I will remember. Oh, this is bad, guys. It was a lord. Oh my God, just two. Oh my God, what? We just lost. Oh my God, man. See, uh, Lord Eaton has visited our house with a serious matter. His daughter was kidnapped by bandits. The current situation in the kingdom forced King Eric to decline helping Lord Eaton. Maybe he was someone important, but we will never know. Pietro. Your Grace, I fear for my life. I think someone is trying to get me. What's going on? I think, I think someone is following me. They want me dead. Who's they? I don't know. How will I know? I haven't done anything, right? Baba, mama. I better be going. What? He didn't ask for anything. Paranoid lord. Oh, that's, that was another lord then. A lord visited the castle. He mentioned something about fearing for his life, but he never gave any detail. Any details. He left in a hurry. Some very strange stuff is happening here, man. Let's get up. And now... Let me see where I can go. Bed chamber. Let's go to the garden first. Who is this? Asalia. This is one of our daughters. Yes, father. There was a wedding in the village. I have heard there was a... There was a... There, there was quite a fine wedding in the village, just outside our walls. It wasn't bad, but I have heard it could have been even better if my father was a big... Oh my, that's that's the uh, uh, last episode. There was a guy that came asking for money for his daughter uh, marriage. That's him. For the wedding, I mean. Oh my god, man. Everything is connected in this game. Looks like, right? <laughs> hmm, how do you know this? I wish I have come to ask. You do have come to ask me first. Rosula told me everything. Hmm, how do you know this? Sana's sound, sounds as if they had the honor of a royal guest. No, of course not. Hmm, he's lying. I have heard what people say. It's all. Come on now, I know about the wedding. Lord Sulia told me what happened. How could she know anyway? Of course. Oh, of course, he said Sedani. Sedani. Uh, I have too much on my head. You are too careless, Asalia. I'm worried about you. I'm worried about you. I wouldn't forgive myself if something happened to you. You have, you have no need to worry. Nothing will happen. Do you know what? What's out there? What could have happened if someone found a princess by herself in a village? All the drunkards, thugs, 
Nothing happens, father. I was dressed differently. I was careful. I'm not stupid. I know what I'm doing. All I wanted was a little fun. Lord Zulia said you got drunk. That's a lie. I know what I'm doing. I can take care of myself. How many times? Ah, Lord Zulia. Since she turned 13, she thinks you will make her marry some fat dumb prince and send her off to another castle. If she's interested to be such a lousy rat, maybe I will be, maybe it will be for her the best. That boy. Is that what she's been acting? Is that why she's been acting up lately? I suppose so. It doesn't change the fact that she's just infuriating. And it doesn't change the fact that you didn't stop with the name Colin. You are confined to the castle. Uh, no more visits to the market. No more playing games. No more visits to the market, maybe? No more playing games. No more playing games, I like that. Yeah, but this is like uh, kids' games or like don't, don't go out. No more horse riding. No more playing games. No more shuttle cock. Plush cards. Oh, yeah, it was like dices and cards and everything. What am I supposed to do inside the godforsaken walls? Oh, stupid Ursulia. I will teach her a lesson. Let's talk with the names. I do better talk to Ursulia. That's it. Wow, the, the, the daughters, uh, everyone has like a very strange name, isn't it? Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, we have to go this way. I didn't want to say like, uh, stop playing games, but it is what it is. Let's go to the base chamber. Let's attend uh, family matters first. Okay, this is our daughter, um, our daughter, our wife. Right, Aurelia. Darling, foreign barbarians visited us this week. Radovians have come to Dabern. One of the one of their bandits was brought to the castle. Radovians? That can't be right. Do you think it's about your our promise? It might be. What do you think? Thirteen years ago, we promised our unborn child hand. To a thug. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Bayron, wasn't it? Does it matter? After 13 years of after 13 years, a Radovian show up in our castle. I will be damned. Yes, Lord Sulia will soon become a woman and she will need to find her a husband. And Bayron, the villain, will arrive to make me fulfill my promise. So they make like a, they make a promise about one of their daughters, right? To a Radovian guy. What about the wish? What wish? Oh my, yo, this is getting interesting, man. What about the wish? I want to know about what wish. Do you remember the curse? Hmm. I don't even want to think about this. Let's just hope the curse is nothing but a hoax and see how things with the talk turn out. What got into us? How could we have promised our daughter, ha our daughter's hand to a Redovian? With a knife to my throat, I am not sure what else we could have done. To think our daughter will marry some barbaric thug, though we can let this happen, Eric. Don't worry, we will solve this. What now? What are we do? What are we going to do? If Baden ever shows up to claim our daughter's hand, hopefully no one will believe him. We just need to play stupid, unless he shows up with an arm. Mm. Every moment that ha that passes, I'm thinking the Rodovians are the guys that we saw at the beginning with when we were preparing for a war. So they're gonna attack us sooner or later. Don't be silly now. How could a common, how could a commoner afford an army 
even we can't. How could Radovians get to Dover? Anything seems possible at this stage. You did send the bandits to the dungeon? Maybe you could question him, see what he knows. I will see what I can do. So we, we made the right decision, we, we can question him now. That's good, that's good. How are you holding up? How are you, how are you holding up? I, I don't know. It's so real. Marry a prince, a lord even. Yes. But let her marry a thug. We can't do this. It will be fine. I won't let them take her away. Okay, I okay, will see you later. Eric? I am terrified. I can handle I can handle this. Fine. I will stay here. I wish I could have snows right now. I have plenty to do though. Okay, the fireplace. This fireplace is full of ash. It's quite cozy here in the evening though. Okay, what else? Dresser, Aurelia's dresser, where she gets ready for the day. What's this? Needles. Aurelia loves to knit. Damn, I look so tired. Or maybe I'm just old. Okay, I think it's time to get out. Nothing else, right? The bed. Fireplace. Okay, let's go up. Let's uh, leave the interrogation for later. Let's go to the castle wall to talk to uh, the daughter. Right, she should be here, right? And we talk to the general. Your grace. That's all. Keep all the work. Stand. Yes, your grace. Okay, we read that one. Last episode, I think. Wow, the, the game looks so beautiful, guys. Let me say hi to the cat first. Meow. Okay, now let's talk to Lord Sully. Oh, it's you. Asalia told me what's going on. Asalia told me why you might be feeling a bit down recently. I think your mother and I have started to figure it out anyways. I'm sorry we didn't realize earlier. And why is that? You won't have to marry a stranger. You are a grown up, grown up woman now. You will have to get married at some stage. You won't have to marry a stranger. Tradition says a girl your age needs a husband, but I promise you won't have to marry a stranger. We will make sure we know the prince well before the wedding. Mm, time will show. Goodbye. See you later, alligator. Okay, I gotta check the entry. Is it archives? When a Radovian mansion up okay, Aurelia agrees with Eric worries. Bayron. Bayron looks like he's the, the guy we promised the hand of our daughter. A talk from Radovian was after the king's oldest daughter, Lord Sulia. Hmm. After finding out why Lord Sulia is upset, the king assured assure her that she would not be rushing to marriage. Asalia sneaking out of the castle without the king's permission flouted his boundaries, the king decided to ban her from playing her favorite games. That, that's, that's a very dumb punishment, man. <laughs> I didn't know what I choose that. I think it was like, stop playing games with the, with us, you know? <laughs> that was a dumb decision right there. Okay, uh, the queen would never allow her daughter to marry a thug. She hopes that the king will resolve this situation before it's too late. I'm hoping that too. Okay, let's go to... Go to the dungeon. Oh, that guy's big, man. Anything here? They haven't fixed this. They haven't fixed this, right? How can I help you, Grace? I'm just looking around. Okay, let's talk to this guy. I didn't think a king would come down to the dungeons. An honor, truly. Enough of, of the games. 
Tell me what tell me what you know. Why are you here? I suppose that's one way of killing time in this murky den. You see, Baron, that lunatic thinks everyone will follow him. Haha. <laughs> Keeps raving about some promise. One of the seven kings will give him his daughter. He thinks he's got a chance at mingling with the royals. I still can't decide. Is he the mad one or is his followers who believe this bunk who are really insane? Who are really insane? That's all for now. You will stay here a while longer. Maybe you will be useful. Sure, as long as I don't die from boredom first. Hmm, so this is true then. The guy is after us. The guy is really after us, guys. He's looking for our daughter. He's really looking for our daughter then. Okay, let's send the wiki. We didn't do anything, that's... Wait, hold on. Oh my god, yeah, yeah. I did this last episode, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think we... Yeah. Gain two gold per week. Okay. Stand general. What? Taxes. Why? Stan General, what happened to him? Nine of gold. Repair the theater. Okay, fix the market stall. Let's do that. And we're gonna gain uh, two gold per week. So that's good. And uh, yeah, I think I'm done. Save and continue. Grefno, week three. So Grefno is our, our city, right? The peon came back. Okay, uh, who should I let, let, Let's get the peon first. Dear Eric, we have crossed the mountains. We will come for what, for what was promised. For the gods, we have graced us with their strength. Baron, the king of Radovia. Oh my God, that guy is coming for us, man. Holy sh shit, man. So, they do have a king after all. And where there's a king, an army follows. What promise are there? Are they babbling about anyways? Should I tell this guy? I mean, he's he's an advisor, right? To take my daughter's hand. What? How? You never mentioned it, your grace. I didn't think I would have to keep my word. We can't let barbarians seize the throne. Our treasury is low, but we can always seek allies. I will let you get on it with the audits, and I will make some preparations in the meantime. I will be in the council chamber, your grace. Ooh, things are getting bad, guys. Audrey. So the uh, that guy's coming after us, man. Peasant, let's talk to him. What do you need, man? Um, your grace, injustice and hunger have struck our village. Men dressed in blacks, in black, came and took our stock. Hardly, hardly, anything left worth giving to the dogs now. I wanted to kindly ask you for seven pieces of gold, or five sacks of supplies, your grace. The way we can at least keep our children fed. Hmm, yes. Ah, uh, take these five supplies. So we're gonna give him five of food or supplies. Better than five, seven of gold, to be honest. I'm afraid I can't help you at the moment. Let's do that. Take these supplies. Fed your children well. That would be enough to keep us going for a couple of weeks. Guts. Favor, favor you. 
That's nice. We did something nice right there. Uh, uh, Radovian bite. A letter, a letter arrived which confirmed Eric's worries. Radovian is seeking what was promised to them. Yes, they're coming. Monsters. The Radovians. The Radovian bandits shed some more lights on why the Radovians were in Davern, but they might be further used. Everything in the village. Uh, so this is the one we attended right now. The king decided to show up his generosity and gave them the village supplies. That's nice. Merchant. I come with a business proposition. Ooh, I love those. Your grace. I love those. I need 12 of gold to hire men and buy resources to build a new tower in Branca. You see, the tower will serve as, as more than just a way for locals to get drunk. The village is really well positioned and it might, um, has many visitors, but they never stay for long. A new tower will change that and will guarantee a steady income. I will share the profits once I start making money on the business. Hmm. I mean, the thing is, we shouldn't take the risk now, but this is kind of the the, the regular uh, thing that happens in games that you give them some and months later, or many gameplays in be in between, they give you the money back. So, but the thing is, they are asking for twelve, and I just have fifteen. And you got, I'm, I'm gonna stay with two of gold, and that's not good. So I can't take the risk right now. That would be awesome, but I can't take the risk. Cowboy. Save up some money if you want to start a business. I may know about it, no. mm, I don't think I will ever be able to save this kind of money. Cowboy, no, no. Maybe if I sell my house, I wonder if anyone will buy my kids. What? <laughs> Okay, uh, another peasant. Your grace, a disease is crawling in our village. It's not in serious. I don't think. It's not in serious, I don't think. But the fever and sneezes are all over the place. It have, it, a, it appears, it appeared out of nowhere. As if the, as if the dark force brought, brought it upon us. Five supplies, man. I can offer much, but here it is. Five supplies. If it's not serious, come on. I I already spent a lot, right? They're sneezing and nothing more, right? I'm not doing it. Doesn't sound too convincing, right? Convincing? No. no. I remember the the um. The advisor told us that people might take advantage of us, that's true. So you kind of, like, have to see between the lines or read between the lines. Uh, no. If it's not serious, I'm not... I'm sure it can wait. Sure. Oh, come on. No one has ever died from just a little cold. Well, I suppose you're right. Might be just that recent days were a little colder than usual. Hmm. You see, I'm, I'm right, but they still take me one of content from the population, man. That sucks. That really sucks. The king decided to decline the tower, but of course not, man. Uh, the fever must n must not have been anything serious. Clearly, the peasant can deal with with this themselves. Of course, man. Just a little cold. Okay, now we can stand up. I already read the letter, okay. I thought, we should, I thought we could send some letters to someone else. Okay, let's get up. And let's get out. Let's get up and let's get out. Ooh. Concert chamber. Ooh, something big is going on here. There's nothing else to do, so let's go there. Ooh, looks good, man. Chess. Nothing useful in here. Just a pile of rubbish. Bookshelf. Just books, plenty of them. This is our daughter, right? The small one. Boy. More books. Tapestry. Boy, uh. Aurelia made this. Boy, uh. This one shows a stork. It is our, it is our house emblem. Dear Andres, 
These antlers come from the biggest deer in Tabor. Table. This side table of food is very useful for long meetings. Your Grace. Oh man, I should have talked to the girl first. Your Grace, I appointed a scout. He will let us know what we are up against. Bye -bye, bye -bye. Meanwhile, we should invite King Talis. He might be able to help. Click on the allies tab on the resources panel to view your potential allies. Allies. We can talk to the nearby lords. But first, we, I will suggest inviting Thales. Here you can view details of each of your potential allies. You need to have a pigeon available in order to send an invite. Ooh. Ada. Who is this? King Thales. Uh, invite. Great Thales. Should visit us within a week. Invitation sent. Okay. With his army, with his army, we should be able to repair Radovin. Radovia. No matter what they come with. Thank you, Audrey. So that was it. Mm, so we can make. When Lords have news, a green icon will appear by their names, like this one, next to Laudi. Name to Lady Ada. Like this? What? I don't understand that. Okay, so this should be right. The, the little letter. Let's talk to our daughter. Boy. Hey there. Pumpkin, silly pickle, potato head. <laughs> Let's go with potato head. Boy. Potato head. I have a normal health. <laughs> Just like your normal potato. What the hell is this? Oh, your grace. Hi there, little. <laughs> your grace. Um, You shouldn't be playing here. The Danny, I always tell you not to play here. But this is this is most serious place in Cass Fortress. Oh, you have most finest items here, father. Please let me stay here. Hello, I won't break anything, I promise. Mm. <laughs> nah, go out. Go out. Go out and play in the gardens. <laughs> Father, oh. don't grumble. Go, go, go. Yeah, I will see you in the garden later. I don't trust her. <laughs> I don't really trust her. Oh, How can I be of your service, Your Grace? Mm. Tell me about the butter preparation. What would you like to know about it, Your Grace? Is our army ready to confront the enemy? We don't yet know what we are up against. But with our current army, we couldn't even defend against peasants with shovels. Svetovit himself would have to help us. Finding allies would be vital if we want to stand a chance. Okay, I see. Of course. Uh, that's all for now. Okay, let's get out. Wait, let's go this way. And I think this is it. The gardens was fun. Can I talk to her now? Your Grace? How are you doing? It's so boring in here. That's all? Yes, Father. Stay safe. Well, I mean, do I ever? Okay, there's nothing else to do. Let me go back once more. Hmm, let's go to the dungeon. Let me see this guy if he's just any. Uh, I don't truly. Okay, that's all for now. No. Okay, let's just skip the day then. The day, the week. It goes by weeks. Okay, 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 okay. Hmm. Repair the theater. Yo, we're losing. We have to fix this thing. We're losing one of content. 
by week. Let's do that. Save and continue. Graph no week four. Ooh, this is the king, guys. Bunker. King Ta Talis. I don't know if... Are we a king too or just a lord? Because if this is a king... I mean, maybe he's the king of another kingdom. But I'm a lord or a king? I mean, I think I'm a king, but... I don't know. We'll see next episode, guys. Thank you so much, guys, for being there. Please hit the like and the subscribe button to not miss new episodes. Uh, I'm loving this game, man. It's so fun. And the the look at look look at the palace. It looks amazing, guys. This game is awesome. I, the 3D art in this game is awesome. I, I'm t I have been saying that since the beginning we started the series, but I'm just loving this game, guys. And you have the control of everything that goes in your kingdom. He's awesome, so thank you guys and see you on the next one. Bye bye.